experience they're desiring to bring into their life. sitting here with Chelsea uh, who lives here in Calgary Alberta and uh, we popped in on a very snowy day that's why I'm all bundled up um, to chat with Chelsea about what's been transpiring in her life so can you just in a nutshell tell us what's been going on uh, for you in the last three four months sure um, so it's been a big year for me mm -hmm. uh, my son, Charlie, was obviously born. He was born in October, so that makes him about three months now. Uh, and he was born just a few weeks after my mom actually passed. So lots of transition. Um, I was engaged a few months earlier than that to a lovely gentleman that I've been with for about a year and a half. Uh, baby daddy, uh, Charlie's dad, Alan. And so this is our first place together uh, here in Marta Looper in a... I don't know, like an older home, I guess. Uh, we have the main floor. So, first place together, living together has been actually really fun. Uh, living with the baby has been great. And how long were you living together prior to this little man coming into your life? We moved in here in March. Charlie was born in October. So, yeah, a lot of sort of, you know, feeling things out, mm -hmm. feeling out being a mom for the first time. Um, obviously, not with with my mom around anymore. Living with Alan for the first like, there's just there's lots of firsts. lots of firsts, lots of fun, excitement, and so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. What I'd like to ask is, what are you desiring in your life going forward as you? and in a partnership with Al? A home. So I would like... So what does that mean to what you? What does that mean to me? Smoothness. Um, somewhere sort of peaceful and harmonious and where we can be a family, I guess. So are you that now? Yes. Uh, feels like not quite. It feels like we're in transition still. It doesn't feel like we've quite settled. Okay. And is that because you have come to the conclusion that you're renting or yep. is it? Okay. So settled to you looks like what? Established a home, probably purchased, like buying a home. Um, let's play with the energy of the established, the family, the home life. And what is it that Al's desiring? That. I think I'm actually picking that up from him. Ah, okay, cool. Because we do tend to do that yeah, we do. when we are uh, living with someone, whether you are in um, an intimate partnership or you have a roommate, we often pick up, or roommates, uh, what are, are the desires of the people that we are um, living with. What is it that you are desiring then? Creative space. Like I'm desiring something that's that will contribute to me. I'm desiring a fun, yummy, almost like the next step up, whatever that means. So the next step up, and so if you could, if you could close your eyes and and, and just say, what is that? What is what is the sense of that space for you? Luxury and yummy and and new. 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 Okay. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Whatever your mom wants. <laughs> so would you be willing to contribute to that? Yeah? Okay. So fun, fun, the fun thing is, is we uh, often believe or fall into the belief system that these little beings aren't actually contributing, but this beautiful, beautiful little man, Charlie, is such a contribution to <laughs> Chelsea and Al and their space. And 
So, Charlie, would you be willing to contribute to what it is your mother and father desire? And everything that doesn't allow that, let's destroy and create it. Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pock, all nine shorts, boys and yaws. Okay. <laughs> just saying it's actually like a defrag a control alt delete on your computer that clears all the limitations judgments that you picked up from this lifetime or any other lifetime and it's just sort of like clearing the energy so we're gonna walk through the space um, I know there's a lot more that that uh, Chelsea would be desiring but we're gonna play with the energy of the space today and spaces talk to me they talk to me before I've even walked in to uh, once I've connected with an individual, I actually start to play with the space. So, since I've been here, this is really funny. I, uh, <laughs> Chelsea started to apologize for her space. So, everywhere that you go into apologizing for the messiness, <clears throat> the things aren't in the right place, the, the, we don't have this yet, we're looking at this, oh my gosh, there's baby a stain, vomit on baby vomit. Couch. So, everywhere that you're, you're defending the space that you live in, would you be willing to just let that go? And actually, spaces are, are meant to be lived in. We're meant to sleep. Our bodies, it's where we sleep. It's where we eat. It's where we um, bathe ourselves. It's where we have children. It's where we have a relationship. We have sex. I mean, all of that happens within our space. So everywhere you're defending clothing and baby toys and all of that, what we might consider messy, let's just like throw it all out mm -hmm. and and actually what it is that I do, it's not going in and critiquing, it's not judging, it's not putting a point of view about what the magazines do um, or say. We can play with the energy of that, but it's actually what is it that you're desiring that we can actually bring into your space that would be a contribution or remove that is no longer serving you. So everywhere that you're not willing to play with that, let's just destroy and uncreate it. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. It's the energy of let's play with the space. Let's play with what can be created and let's just play with the possibility of something really yummy that uh, you haven't been willing to receive. So everywhere you're not willing to receive you and the space and the people that come into the space, let's just like let it all go. Hi again. Okay, so we are walking into Charlie's room. Uh, his um, room is the multi-purpose room currently for this space and so what are we noticing here charlie has been uh sleeping between his mom and dad and he's at three months um his mom is willing to play with the energy of having him sleep in his room now what i'm aware of is that there is a lot of stuff that is being stored in here and it doesn't actually have the energy of Charlie's room yet. It's more of a storage where he gets his diapers changed and then there's lots of gifts and prezzies and the laundry and all of that. So I am back at Chelsea's home and in Charlie's room we are just um, from a couple of days ago when I was here a lot of things uh, were moved around and a lot of energies were shifted, which was really cool. And uh, Chelsea will tell you in a second kind of what transpired um, since uh, we did and worked on the room. And now I'm just going to show you very quickly what cool things Chelsea's done. And cool. So here we are. We're walking into um, baby Charlie's room and we now have a new mattress. We have a little fun music box and a blankie. Charlie's in a swing chair right now having a nap and a baby monitor. He's brand new so uh, having the mattress closer up is fun and light and easy and then all the yummy things that are put away in the change table, the clothing, 
and then all those toys that we had on the floor have, now have little baskets and have a home. So the floor is totally available and available for Charlie as he grows and, and Chelsea's looking at um, buying herself. I'm just gonna show you them. There we go. He's gonna have a little space to sit in front of and actually see his reflection as he grows. And there's Chelsea. Hi. <laughs> so Chelsea. Can you just tell us what's been happening <clears throat> since this is two days ago? Yeah, two days ago. Wow. I um, So much more than you would assume that kind of has happened. And I think I'm still kind of like, holy shit, that all really happened. My little man slept in his own bed last night. And I got six hours of uninterrupted sleep, which is all you new moms are thinking, holy fuck, that's amazing. So it was amazing. Um, and he was so sweet and he was so ready to move. It was just, it's so funny how much we realize all the projections we put on. Our babies won't sleep here. He's not willing to do this. He won't do this without his mom. Oh, did you miss your mom? Nope, he was fine. He was more than happy. I walked into his space to check on him a couple times and he had this yummy little C thing going and the energy in here was just wicked. Like he's just a very happy little camper. and. I feel like I've kind of allowed him to be his own person a little bit more now and actually start creating his own thing, which is really cool. So uh, it feels good. It feels so yummy, it's clean and neat, and things are more delicious with my partner as well, which is wicked. And uh, yeah, overall just lighter, way, way lighter, and a happier baby, and a happier mama, and a very, very happy um, daddy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so thanks, Lise. So, creating conscious spaces. Very conscious space.